Well, you've probably heard about 4-H. Possibly your son or daughter or grandchild or close friend has been involved in 4-H for many, many years. It's a very beneficial program. Well, locally, hundreds of kids elementary age through high school graduation are part of 4-H, and some still don't know that this program is a lot more than just farming animals, which is, of course, very important. But 4-H as a whole can provide such a well-rounded education, especially for those who pursue all they can in the organization. A one who has done such that is Priscilla Painter. She currently is in Atlanta. Priscilla has been selected for a prestigious honor with 4-H, and Dancy has more. Well, I am thrilled that one of our outstanding teenagers in the Lima area is joining me now. Priscilla Painter is with the 4-H, um, and she is part of the Allen County Sharpshooters and Canine Clubs. And we want to welcome you to the show. Yes, thank you. Good what to be here. a big year for you. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, well, as we are taping this, you're, um, as you're actually watching this, you will be in Atlanta mm -hmm, yes. um, representing this area for um, some of the work that you have done with your 4-H clubs. So why don't you tell us what got you to Atlanta? Well, to start out, you have the qualifying round in June, and then you go to state. And if you win at state fair, then you get to go to Atlanta, Georgia. And you won the health and safety oratory, yes. right? Yes. And what was your subject that you talked about? This year, I chose to speak on gun safety. Which is a hot topic yes, across definitely. the nation. <laughs> Were you a little nervous about speaking on this, this topic? Not really. It's something that I'm very passionate about and it's something I care a lot about and I really want people to know about it. So I, it wasn't that big a deal because I really wanted to impact people. Okay. Um, well, if you don't mind, let's talk a little bit about um, some of the research that you've done and, you know, the the actual um, focus of your, of your speech. Um, as I said, gun safety has been in the news a lot. We all have different opinions of it. So what did you find out as you were researching your topic? Well, as I was researching, I came up with different statistics as part of the competition as you, you're required to have different statistics and sources. And I realized that there are um, a lot of Americans own guns. So the majority of people own a gun, but not everyone knows how to properly use a gun. So it's not that the gun is a bad thing. It's that people don't properly know how to store their gun, how to use their gun, and how to be safe with their gun. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes gun owners get a bad rap because there are people out there that don't know how to properly use them. But the people who actually do know how to correctly use a gun have been through the proper safety training and they, they know how to use it. Yeah, definitely. And you have been with the Allen County Sharpshooters 4-H Club for how long? This, I was with them for nine years. Nine years. Has that been as long then? Have you been using a gun that long since you were little? Uh, that's, yeah, that's about long, how long. Wow. You know, I was telling you before we um, started taping that I had used a pistol at a firing range when I was in my 20s um, with the police department. and. I was amazed at how powerful that pistol is. And you know, you related that, you know, a lot of people don't realize the power behind a gun. Yes. It comes with a great responsibility how much the gun can do and what you can do with the gun. Absolutely. So, okay, you're taking your speech to Atlanta. Yes. And what happens there? Well, actually at Atlanta, it's not really a competition. It's more of a reward after you've won the competition. Okay. So, I won't actually be speaking. There will be different classes I will attend, different sessions, I'll go to different meetings, different dinners, and just being with different 4-H'ers and seeing how their counties work. Very good. So let's talk about you. What, what are your career aspirations and what would you like to be doing in a few years from now? Well, I'm currently um, going forward with my degree in communications as I love speaking in public. <laughs> I figured so, yes. Yes. So I, I'm currently, a, I teach speech to younger children and I'd like to continue that in the future, perhaps maybe um, teach speech at a local college. And you know what's interesting about that is a lot of um, teenagers, a lot of youngsters nowadays really are not very verbal anymore because they're on their phones texting yes. all the time. Do you find that's true? Yes, definitely. When I'm working with younger kids, it's it's a challenge trying yes. to get them to open up. Definitely. But that's why I like working with the younger kids. You get them started at a younger age and then they can progress through and once they get to be a teenager and they're 
doing those bigger things, speech competitions, job interviews, all that stuff, it's easier for them. How about writing as well? You know, with the texting, there's mm -hmm. always, you know, the shortcuts or you have yes. so-called spell checks. <laughs> um, do you find that too, that they are just not very skilled at writing? Yes, it's, there's more of a, um, a common language that's not as proper and precise as I would like it to be. They, they don't know just the fine art of writing and how to lay down words on paper. It's something that's one of the harder things. It's You can get past the presentation, but you really need good content, and sometimes it's harder for them to figure that out. Absolutely. Well, Priscilla, we uh, hope that your time in Atlanta is everything you dreamed of. You. I know that you worked very hard to get there, and we want to congratulate you on your, on your work, and best wishes for your future. You. you have a very bright future ahead. Thank you. All right. Happy holidays. <laughs> you too. All right. Back to you, Jen.